Hi guys, so today we're going to learn chapter 2 atoms, molecules, and ions again. And these are the subchapters. And today we're going to focus on 2.3 nomenclature of inorganic compounds. And at the end of this topic, you should be able to define cations and ions and also name them and also the salt according to the IUPAC nomenclature. Ions can be categorized into two cations and anions. So cations form when atoms lose electron, hence the number of protons is more than the number of electrons and they are positively charged. Meanwhile, for anions, they are formed when atoms gain electron. Hence, the number of proton is less than the number of electron, and they are negatively charged. Now, let's have a look how the ion form. Usually, metal will lose electron to form cation. Most metal, actually, and non-metal usually favor of gaining electron to produce an ion. And the example for metal usually for coming from group one and group two and other elements such as gold and silver okay the symbol is au and ag while for non-metal the ions are coming usually from group 17 elements also elements such as oxygen sulfur and many more now let's learn some common ion names for cations and anions the nomenclature let's start with na plus sodium ion and then mg2 plus magnesium ion nh4 plus ammonium ion and then Cu2 plus is copper 2 ion. Mm. And then Cu plus copper 1 ion. Mn2 plus is called the manganese. Manganese 2 ion. And then we have aluminium 3 plus, Al3 plus, aluminium ion. Now, guys, if you realize, some of these ions have number on the names. Ada juga yang tiada kan? But why? Copper and manganese are coming from transition metal elements. So that is why they must have the number. Because transition metal element can have more than one oxidation state or stable ions. But for elements such as Al, Na, Mg, semua tu adalah elements yang hanya ada satu jenis ion saja ataupun satu oxidation state saja. So we don't need to put the numbers in the name. Now NH4 plus adalah special case sebab they all coming from non-metal elements. In this case, non-metal can also be get ions. Now let's have a look at an ions. So Cl minus is chloride ion, Br minus is bromide ion, SO42 minus is sulfate ion, NO3 minus is nitrate ion, ClO3 minus is chlorate ion, MnO4 minus is manganate ion, Cr2O7 dia di sebab ada dua sana, so dichromate ion. Nah, kalau perasan kita ada Mn dengan Cr, yang mana dua-dua ni sebenarnya adalah transition metal element. Jadi dorang dua ni boleh form MnO4- dengan Cr2O7 juga macam yang ClO3- tu. Semua tu adalah polyatomic anion. Sementara yang sana itu NH4+ adalah polyatomic cation. Now let's learn how to write chemical formula for ions and compound. Ions selain daripada kita boleh bahagikan dia kepada cations dengan anions, dia juga boleh dibahagikan kepada ada yang monoatomic ion, ada yang polyatomic ions. So monoatomic ni mono maksudnya ada cuma ada satu atom saja dalam tu. Contohnya macam Cl minus, Mg2 plus, Br minus, lagi Na plus. Semua ni ada satu ion saja monoatom. Tapi kalau polyatomic ion dia ada more than one atom macam SO42 minus. Untuk satu SO4 tu minus dia ada empat atom O satu atom S. Lepas tu NO3 minus tiga atom O satu atom N. And then kalau MnO4 minus ada empat oksigen satu atom Mn. Now let's learn how to write chemical formula for compound. Usually kita panggil dia sebagai salt. Okay. Now salt yang paling famous adalah NaCl. So daripada cara tulisan ni dekat depan kita tulis cation dulu. Belakang kita tulis anion. Sebab cation dia adalah Na plus. Anion dia Cl minus. Contoh lain adalah MgSO4. Dalam MgSO4, Mg2+ adalah cation and SO4- adalah cation. Now let's have a look at further example. What if K+ mau bergabung dengan O2-? So kita tulis K, lepas tu charge O2- kita letak di bawah K2, lepas tu oksigen 1 K2O. This is called cross multiplication. Now what if Mg2+ dengan Cl- mau bergabung? So Mg charge Cl sana 1, so Mg tidak apa-apa apa, -apa. and then Cl pula charge Mg ada 2+, so Mg Cl2. Now kita ada Na plus dengan SO4 to minus. Na ada dua di sana, so letak dua. And then SO4 charge untuk Na plus, so tidak payah tulis apa apa, sebab satu saja. Now moving on, NH4 plus dengan SO4 to minus. NH4 kita kena buat bracket sebab ada dua di sana. And then SO4 
Tidak payah buat apa-apa Sebab satu ya kan Let's do this question together So kita ada FeBr3 So dia punya N ion adalah Br- Ket ion dia adalah Fe Fe3 plus Oke okay. so Nama untuk N ion adalah Bromide ion Ket ion dia adalah Ion 3 Ion And nama formula dia adalah Ion 3 Bromide Itu nama compound Nama salt dia Nah untuk magnesium sulfate The salt is MgSO4 Alright, so ket ion dia adalah Mg2+, magnesium ion, dan N ion dia adalah SO4-, sulfet ion. Now let's try this question. Tara! And tara! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. See you again.